It's been said that behind every great man, there's a great woman. Within the Alabama Farmers Federation, these great women often have taken part in policymaking and philanthropic efforts through the Women's Leadership Committee. As we continue celebrating the Federation Centennial, we talked with two members about what the Women's Leadership Committee has meant to them. The creation of the Women's Leadership Committee in 1965 allowed more people to be involved in the Alabama Farmers Federation's political advocacy and education efforts. I think that the Women's Leadership Committee members play a big, big role in helping the Alabama Farmers Federation keep its ideas going. I think they are the support system for the home, for the farm, for their husbands working together as partners on the farm. As Clay County Women's Committee Chair, Faye Dial is following the example set by her parents, Max and Ethel Bonner, who were both leaders in the Choctaw County Farmers Federation. Faye even served on the State Women's Leadership Committee and was the group's chair in 2013, which allowed her to serve as an ex officio on the State Board of Directors. That was a good year of learning and I enjoyed that very much. I was kind of sorry when the year ended. <laughs> it was so much fun, too. But she's most proud of the time she's been able to help others, like when her county committee hosted an old-fashioned pounding for the home economics department of the new Clay Central High School. We invited general public ladies to come and bring flour, sugar, butter, everything, that kitchens might need, and that turned out to be one of our big, big events. And she's equally proud of the relationships she's built with others through Farm City participation, meetings with legislators, and special events promoting agriculture. I think that was one of the biggest contributions, plus the fact that the older ladies in my county that I knew, I knew they were in farming, and I knew they were needing to get up and be involved in a group. The same is true for Betty Barrett of Elmore County. It's just kind of like sorority sisters. Your friendship means everything. You can't replace it. With Betty as chair, the Elmore County Women's Leadership Committee has focused on community service, donating school supplies, and helping local nonprofits. And for six straight years, Elmore County earned first place in the state philanthropy contest collecting pop tabs to benefit Alabama's two Ronald McDonald houses, which house parents of sick children free of cost. A lot of tabs, a lot of drinking. Anything with a tab, we take it. One year we had enough that the parents could stay two or three nights free to Stemmore County. With dedicated leaders like Betty and Faye, the Women's Leadership Committee has achieved goals set forth way back in 1965 and has an even brighter future. Well, we're kind of the roots of the men. We participate in everything they have, and I don't think they could get along without us. The Women's Leadership Committee needs to be a big part of the Alabama Farmers Federation group to, for support, moral and physical. <laughs> The State Women's Leadership Committee is made up of nine women who serve three-year terms. Elections are held every year during the Alabama Farmers Federation's annual meeting. Right, but every county Farmers Federation can also establish their own Women's Leadership Committee. The group's annual competitions, including cooking, quilting, and wreath making, are fun ways to get involved, but they also promote agriculture and feature different commodities every year. Now you may never have thought of bees as a farm animal, but they require a lot of care and are vitally important to our environment. Up next, we'll ask a farmer about being an apiarist, better known as a beekeeper. What's in our home says a lot about us. My house, well it says, I never met a garage sale I didn't like. Whether it's family heirlooms, or a collection of old hats, or a gajillion books you're never gonna read. Home is where we keep our stuff. Alpha gets it. Your local Alpha agent has coverage for your home and everything in it. Find an agent near you at alphainsurance.com. Cause who wouldn't love another sombrero? As a farmer, I, I grow U.S. from a farm-raised catfish. Doing that, I know it's a safe product and I enjoy eating it any way my wife likes to cook it. 
Hi, I'm Luke Smelly, and I'm Alabama 2020 Catfish Farmer of the Year from Greensboro, Alabama. If you haven't tried U.S. Farm Race Catfish, you should because it's delicious. Simple as that. Farm Bureau Bank has built its entire existence around the lifestyle and needs of farmers and ranchers across America. We're here to help grow traditions, give back to agricultural communities, and offer financial convenience for your unique way of life. From sunup to sundown, we are committed to serving you. Vacations are fun, but they can also be expensive. As you pack your bags, don't leave possible savings behind. Alabama Farmers Federation members can save on admission to a slew of popular destinations, including Dollywood, the park at Owa, Zoo Atlanta, Six Flags Over Georgia, and the Georgia Aquarium. For details, visit alphafarmers.org slash perks and click on the discount tickets category. Discounted admissions, it's just another perk of being an Alabama Farmers Federation member. Hi y'all, I'm Kim Earwood with Alabama Ag in the Classroom. Let's open our rural dictionary and grow our soybean knowledge. Often, soybean farmers don't plow the ground before planting. This is called no-till and it holds soil together and saves topsoil. Soybean production is measured by yield and bushel. Yield is the amount of crop harvested and bushel is a volume measurement. A bushel of soybeans weighs 60 pounds. Once harvested, soybeans are stored in dome-shaped structures called grain bins. Animal agriculture is the number one customer of the soybean industry. To keep learning, visit alabamaaitc.org and check out details about our annual institute for teachers. This Rural Dictionary is brought to you by Alabama Ag in the Classroom. See you next time.